Hello, y'all. Welcome to Miss Mother Trucker, and this is your favorite mother trucker, Michaela. Anyway, I'm sitting here in Quartzsite, Arizona. I stopped here for the night last night because we're delivering in Fontana. It's about 200 miles away. We were supposed to do a drop at the uh, Fontana yard, but then um, my dispatcher let me know that there's no empty trailers and I'd have to hold on to this until Sunday, which is tomorrow, today, Saturday. And we stopped last night, Friday. So anyway, I was over there at the pilot is where we stayed last night and I had to pay for reserved parking. And anywho, this morning I get up, I'm walking and there's this hump right you can't really see it it just and it, a little bitty ledge like that where they had laid asphalt and then smooth it out and I was wearing my Crocs and my toe hit it and I went smack like a big old whale just bam hit the ground and I was like oh well, hell no my phone I had and it hit under my rib under my girls and hit my rib so now when I breathe real hard, it hurts. Or if I laugh, it hurts. If I don't do anything, it doesn't hurt. So I know it's not broken, <coughs> but it's definitely bruised. Hurt my knee, hurt my hand, my hip. You know, I mean, oh my lanta. My student come running out, Juwan, he helped me up. And I mean, it was, it was a hot mess. You know, it was like a big old harpoon whale wallering in the sea and then some poor little fisherman trying to reel it in. But he got me up and um, I was like, Lord. So anyway, moral of the story is what, where the hell you're going. I mean, you really couldn't see it, but if I would have broke my arm or broke my rib, I'd have sued the shit out of them. They really need to smooth out that parking lot, especially where the drivers are. And I mean, this stuff, it just, it hurts. You know, but it is what it is. And I am clicking down on my lease. And because they bumped it where I'm sitting on this load an extra couple days, so the one thing it takes all the profit out of the load. And the other thing is, this is my last check, real, full, my last full check on this lease. And I turn this in and I'm gonna be off for five weeks or so. So that kind of sucks. Um, so hopefully they find me a really good load that helps make up for this, but I, I just don't see anything big enough. It would have to be, because I only have 4000 on this check so far, it would have to be at least a five or $6,000 run to give me a decent check. You know, because if they would have reloaded me on Saturday with like a $2,000 load, $2,500 load that delivered Sunday night or Monday, and then they could have got me another load to deliver by Wednesday, and I would have been okay on my check. But just takes one little mess up like this to really milk you out of a check. So, but it is what it is. I know my dispatcher jumps through everything to get me the best of the best, and she takes good care of me. That's why I have such big checks, but when you hit like this, it, it, it's rough. But anyway, I'll be, um, by the time I come back, we should be picking up again for the holidays and stuff like that, and uh, we'll have all the bonuses and everything. I'm looking forward to that. And I will pick a nice new truck for a temporary lease until I buy. So anyway, everything else is going really good. Um, getting excited about coming to the end of my lease and getting nervous at the same time because the most time I ever took off is when I went to do the deal in Arizona and that was like 10 or 11 days and it felt like an eternity this being all those weeks but there is no truck payment I got to worry about there's nothing like that but I won't have as much money going off as I wanted to because you know this check got messed up and the last check got messed up so you know, that's gonna kind of suck. But anything else, it's really, really doing pretty good. Um, I am starting a new channel. It's gonna have this old channel name, Life Happens by the Mile. Um, that is going to be um, the channel on my vertical sleeve, cosmetic surgeries, getting everything tuned back up. And any of 
y'all who want to check that out. There won't be any videos posted until for about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, I'll come on and let you guys know. And then when I inform you, you probably won't hear from me on this channel again until I am getting ready to come back to Prime and get my new leash truck because it's gonna, the only thing going on is gonna be me going to Tijuana, me getting the gastric sleeve, the vertical sleeve surgery, weekly updates on the weight loss, crap like that. Nothing that y'all would be too excited about, but if y'all wanna check it out, rock on, you know, go over there and subscribe. Um, and that would be appreciated. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go for now. I just wanted to shout at you from here in Portside. Like I said, we're headed to Fontana. And uh, from there, I'll shout at you again, let you know what kind of load I got, where I'm going, how much it is, and whether I'm going to have any kind of check or not, right? So, anyway, guys, um, and I'm probably going to tell my dispatcher to send me once Wednesday hits whatever load I get by Wednesday. Or before, you know, in other words, if that's going to be it on this check, I'm having them get me a load straight back to Springfield. And I'm, I want to turn the truck in by that Friday. So, anywho, guys, I will talk to you later. Take care. Uh, mother trucker out. And treat each other with love, kindness, and respect. And practice inclusion instead of exclusion because you never know who you're going to meet. And you never know. You might like them. Bye, guys.